Okay, everybody, the next knot's gonna be called the surgeon's knot. This is a great knot you're gonna to wanna to need to know and practice a lot for when, let's say this is your leader, and you had to tip it out here getting thinner and thinner, and it broke off because you're catching so many big fish. And you gotta tie on new tippet material. Okay, this knot works well when the line diameters are not too dissimilar. You're gonna overlap them about five inches. I've exaggerated because we're using parachute cord for this demonstration. Just gonna overlap them. Okay, you're gonna take them and you can just make a loop right on top like that. Okay, you're gonna stuff your fingers through there. Just one if you want. Once, twice. You're gonna reach through there. You're gonna grab the tag end and the rest of that leader and just pull it all through. Now usually you're gonna have two to three feet of tippet material you're tying on, not all this. And then you can lick this or dink it in the river and get it wet and that monofilament will sl sink, uh, slick down, what do you call it? Slink down really nice and tight and look real good. This is parachute cord, so obviously it's not gonna slide down nice and neat like monofilament will, but that'll be a good knot for you. Once again, the line diameters can't be too dissimilar. And then you're gonna wanna clip off these tag ends so it doesn't get snagged as you're casting. You know, this doesn't come up and snag on that, okay? Surgeon's knot, practice that a lot, real simple.